Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome I'm Vanessa this is Nessa CX Beauty and today we are going to be reviewing and doing a wear test of the Derma Blend Professional Cover Care Full Coverage Concealer. This is her right here. She retails for $28 and has 0.33 fluid ounces. So that is very standard for a high-end, more Sephora luxury brand. So this is definitely comparative to those types of concealers. Um, this is supposed to be full coverage, deliver breathable, smooth and soft skin and it's supposed to be able to cover you for 24 hours so that is the claim on this concealer we're just gonna test it out and see if that's true so if you're interested in seeing how this concealer performs just continue watching all right so to expedite the process i did already put on my becca full coverage foundation and i did prime with my tarte quench primer so I'm just gonna put this all over my under eye. This is the doe foot. It's pretty big, just like the Tarte Shape Tape. This is the doe foot. Now we're gonna apply it. So I definitely didn't get a shade that I could brighten with. I thought I did from the um pictures online but i definitely should have gotten like one shade lighter i did get the shade 30n now i'm just gonna tap that out but it is blending in very beautifully And now for my chin and my nose between my brows. One thing I will say about this product is that it's pretty hard to like get out. Like you have to pull a good amount. But luckily it's not like splashing on me or splattering on me. If I do like this, I will definitely pick it up in a lighter shade. Because right now I'm definitely digging the finish. And I think it's definitely full coverage as they claim. And it's spreading so nicely. All right, so zooming in. Now we're just gonna cover it up with powder. To set the concealer, I'm going in with the Believe Beauty setting powder. This is one of my favorite powders. I did repurchase this. So now this is it set. I think thus far it looks like a beautiful concealer. I'm just gonna finish my face and then I'm gonna let you guys know the time of completion. Okay, so we are back and time of completion is 1.08 p.m. Just to round, we're gonna say one o'clock for, you know, time purposes but this is how we are looking between my brows my nose and my chin look really good but my under eye i don't know i'm starting to think it's a me problem because i keep having this issue with concealer please let me know if you guys have a method that stops you know automatic creasing from happening but so far so good i think my face looks awesome and i will definitely be checking in throughout the day so i'll see you soon 
Okay, so we are back and it is 6.34 p.m. And so I've had this on for about five and a half hours and I was gonna do this as a check-in, however. I don't know. I feel like I need to take this off because my eyes look disgusting after five and a half hours and literally there are no complaints between my brows on my nose my pores are looking very very defined and not blurred or covered oh right here i caught it right here i seem to be super super freaking dry and I did put concealer there. And it just feels like wherever I put concealer, it has this texture that I am just not a fan of. This is just, this is just foundation. This is where I placed concealer. It's like bunching up right there. Um, I don't know. And then my gloss, I'm sorry, it's super sparkly. It's from the Midas X Smoky Glow. My PR did come today, and I really did want to try it before, you know, making my video on it. It's gorgeous, but my concealer is not gorgeous. <laughs> like, from a distance, as, a, as I always say, like, with all of my concealer reviews from a distance, I look phenomenal. My skin looks dope. <sighs> but up close. I feel like I have never, ever, you know, had this happen. So this concealer is going to be a pass from me. And although it's only been 5 hours and 30 minutes, I think I've come up with my verdict and I'm not the biggest fan. So will I be repurchasing this in a lighter shade for my highlighting concealer? I do not think that I will and that kind of makes me sad because this concealer definitely snatched up my face when I applied it. But I think that's where the importance of wear tests come in because I don't think I've ever seen my under eyes and between my nose look as bad as it does today. Um, I definitely will still be trying it out just because I did buy it and I'm not going to return it. But that's just all I wanted to say for y'all today. I'm sorry that I cut it short. I would have made this like a 9 or 10 hour wear test if I saw fit. But I definitely did not see it fit for this wear test because I feel like if I just continue going and going, it'll just get worse and worse. So might as well cut it off here try it again another day but today it did not work for me so that is all i wanted to say for y'all have a great day or night wherever you are in the world i hope to see you soon bye bye